Hi guys, I'm making a video. Now, it might be of some assistance to somebody in the future. This is a, an early 1690. Recently lost half of its uh, gears. So the job was, uh, I was told, you just take the cab off. Now it's about an hour and a half's work. And uh, it's just a bit finicky. Now just uh, watch your fingernails. Because uh, that can be part of it. Um... Okay, so the cab came off. Next job was lift off the gearbox cover. So um, this is fairly straightforward, actually. We've got five bolts here at the back of the gearbox cover. We have a ring of bolts going all the way around. There's one here, there's one up in there, and then all those boys there. Yeah, and now we've got four, one, two, three, four up there, okay? Take out them bolts, tap the gearbox lid, loosen up a bit. Also, don't forget this, there's a wedge. That wedge sits in there. So hammer that up and the gearbox lid will come off. Uh, you want a, it's a two-man lift. So I was told that uh, probably the problem was that a roll pin had hopped out on the uh, selector fork. You get a replacement roll pin, you bang it in, just reassemble everything. Happy days. This is the roll pin in question, which never did fall out. The problem was, down here, the gear is completely devoid of teeth. The bearing is not good either. <laughs> bearing isn't yeah okay and it's also damaged the teeth up here as well so we're looking at a uh, gearbox removal so this has become a good bit bigger of a job okay so over here I have my shop manual so according to it this process is you have to remove the uh, PTO unit, final drive here, final drive there. It's a big enough job. Um, I'm going to leave it at. Uh, I'm going to leave this video at now, and I just want to get my head around it, and I will be back, and uh, we'll go through it as quick as I can. Okay, bye.